Chime PPP, Wobbly, Blue Acorn, PPP funding. We're gonna get all into this. First, before we begin, I do want to let you guys know I'm still doing a giveaway at the end of my um, at the end of this month. So if you guys still want to be entered in that giveaway, feel free to be entered. All you guys gotta do is like and subscribe and drop a comment below. Very, very simple, right? But yeah, let's get right into this. This is another question from a member of my channel. So with that being said, I'm going to try my best to answer these questions for you guys. If you guys got questions at any time of this video, feel free to drop them below. As you guys already know, Chime watches my videos. We have um, other banks and financial institutions that watch my videos as well. So let's get right to this. They said, I've been lurking in this sub for a while, so I get that Wobbly has a few issues. And still a bit worried, um, though, so I figured out I'd reach out here. Has anyone using Chime gotten their PPP funding? And if so, what was the timeline? So, for you guys, drop the questions and drop... Actually, don't drop the questions. Drop the answer below. Have you been funded through Chime? And also, let me know how long did it take... Somewhere rough estimate, because I know a lot of people, you know, you don't know the exact time. Like, what's the rough estimate? Did it take a week, two weeks? What was the um, overall outcome when it comes to that? They began to say, some background information. I applied through Wompley at the end of April. After it was approved, I ran into a funding error status, which, as I understand, it has been an issue others have had with the chime. The, the, the status details told me I needed to provide a different bank account as they wouldn't attempt again with the current one. I contacted Chime immediately after, however, and they said there wasn't enough or there wasn't even a funding attempt made for them to have been denied. They also confirmed that the lender I have, which was um, Bensworth, is one of the lenders they are accepting funding from of the banking info errors that others have reported. Now, as far as my knowledge, especially when it comes to Chime, they are accepting those PPP loans, especially from Bensworth. Now, I made a lot of other videos regarding this. If you guys wanna um, backtrack and watch those videos as well. If you've been going through this issue, and a lot of people was asking me, well, how do I change my bank account? If there is really an issue, they will contact you, and you will actually have to change your bank account. If they don't contact you yet, and um, basically, it seems like it look, it's going to look good if they haven't contacted you yet about the bank account information. If they have, go ahead and switch your bank account information. But don't switch it if they haven't contacted you, thinking it's going to go faster. You know, because some people are getting theirs through Chime. And then, as I talked about, there's a lot of people who have not got theirs through Chime. But everybody is different. Every business is different. Every situation is different. So you guys have to put that in, in a factor as well. You know, um, if you guys got questions so far, feel free to drop them below. I will try to help you guys. Chime Bank watches my videos. They will try to help you guys as well. They begin to say, I tried to update my banking details to a different bank account. I have also, which is an online bank. That it says, I tried instant verification several times, which has never worked for me despite my banking information being accessible through Plaid. Then I manually, manually verify the new account as well. But when I check the funding instructions, the bank is still set to the original Chime account. I even saw there's a way to verify a Cash App account now. So I sign up for a debit card just in case. I still run into the issues. But at this point, I'm not sure verifying that would even go there. Anyway, I got concerned when uh, my status switched to borrower funded on May 14th. And yet I haven't received any funds. I know reading through posts here, there have been glitches with Wobbly regarding statuses and banking information. So I've just been hella concerned. I am currently at a five business days since the status change and I'm getting really nervous. So if anyone can help provide me some clarity, I'd be eternally grateful. I haven't been able to get a hold of anyone through Wobbly. I sent an email about the funding error status almost immediately after it happened and didn't get a response until, came, uh, until a couple of days ago when it was no longer relevant. Now, they put, their time line, they, put their, they put their timeline in there as well. As I mentioned, if you guys got any help, feel free to drop those comments and concerns below. Hopefully, Chime will continue to watch my videos. They can help you guys, especially when it comes to this issue. 
I know they are getting tons and tons of applications, tons of questions as well. So, of course, it's going to be hard for them to actually respond in a quickly matter, you know. But bear with me, bear with them, I should say, because you're changing different bank accounts, and then you're got, you just got to wait. You know, it's basically just a wait game. I totally understand, but that's why I want to let you guys know if you guys do it the first time, hopefully that will disregard this error if you get it right the first time. The first time. They begin to say to specify the timeline, April 23rd, the application submitted, May 5th, promissory note signed, May 6th or 7th, funding error status, May 14th, borrow funded status, and it says as of today, May 22nd, still no funds. So basically, there's a timeline. If you guys are with, if you guys went through this as well, feel free to drop those questions below. Um, another member began to say, "We in the same boat. Chime rejected once. Borrow funded since May 13th. Tried changing bank before it said borrow funded. I don't know if it updated or not. No money yet, and I check all the accounts. I try linking every day. Now I say cash app option, and don't know if I should try that." Someone else said, this is me exactly. Same here in a bar of funding. Two weeks, not yet shot yet. Same here in a bar, bar of funded for six days now. They said, I've been in a bar of funded status since May 13th. Technically, this coming Monday will be the seventh business day. So I'm trying to stay positive and keep my cup half full because it sucks waiting and I don't think Karen would help me get my money any sooner hang in there we feel you so hopefully just happen to wait you know and I said it's just it's a long process long process especially if you're in a if you start a process and then you end up changing something in mid process it's very very tough to get that problem you know what I mean it's, it's very very tough it's like starting over you know sad but it's really like starting over you get you get your um you get your um, all your information. Then you have to change your banking account information, and then it's just like kind of starting over. So I definitely and I totally understand when it comes to this. Now a lot of people went to Chime. They said they have not been funded. They have to change bank accounts. But then you have people with Chime who actually went through. Now as I mentioned, every bank is different. Every account is different even your business is different you know so i don't know if there if there's certain businesses that's getting through or not but i do know everybody is different and um just hang in there all we can do is wait i do know may 31st is the deadline so if you guys are still waiting or thinking you guys should apply you guys have until may 31st i'm just here to help you guys and hopefully help you guys get through this process um, you know, but especially when it comes when it comes to this, because we all know at times like this, any little error could actually be a delay. You know, you can you can put the wrong address, you can put the wrong um, card information. It can all be a delay. Now, a lot of people have been receiving re, have been receiving dash cards. What those dash cards is is let's say if your banking information doesn't work or you don't have another bank, what they can do is load up a dash card. And it'll load up your funds on a dash card, which is like a prepaid debit card, you know. And then with that being said, you don't have to worry about that banking account information. If these are options, your lender will tell you, depending on your lender. So if your lender is XYZ, call XYZ, let them know and see if they have dash cards or prepaid cards that you can actually receive your money. Now, I know there's a delay, especially when it comes to those, but you will for sure know when and how you receive the money. You know, it's not going back and forth, waiting two weeks, three weeks, trying to figure out when you will receive your money. Now, Chime, they watch my videos. Hopefully, um, they watch this one, and that way you can eyes can get the help that you needed. Feel free to drop those questions and concerns for me. Um, this is your latest update. My name is Quentin Banks, your financial advisor. Stay loyal, stay blessed, stay true. And then, with that being said, you don't have to worry about that banking account information. If these are options, your lender will tell you, depending on your lender. So if your lender is XYZ, call XYZ, let them know and see if they have dash cards or prepaid cards that you can actually receive your money. Now, I know there's a delay, especially when it comes to those, but you will for sure know when 
and how you receive the money. You know, it's not going back and forth, waiting two weeks, three weeks, trying to figure out when you will receive your money. Now, Chime, they watch my videos. Hopefully, um, they watch this one, and that way you guys can get the help that you needed.